Okay. There you go. Meet you here. Whew, this box is heavy. But they're always heavy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima. For those of you guys that are new, if you're not, welcome back. I am going to be reviewing the new Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. This is a new foundation that just launched last week from Dose of Colors. I'm gonna be telling you guys all about the foundation, the finish, the formula, how it feels, how it wears, all that good stuff. And I'm also gonna give you guys some swatches of the medium to deep side of the spectrum so that we can see what those look like if you guys do use me as a reference. The lighter side of the spectrum almost always looks all the same whenever I swatch them against my skin tone, so it kind of would defeat the purpose. It wouldn't help anybody really. So we're just gonna do the ones that are actually gonna, see, you're actually gonna see a difference on my skin tone. I'm also gonna be trying out their new Dose of Color Sponge. They're calling it the Seamless Beauty Sponge. Make sure you are subscribed, turn on your notifications, and join the family. So we've got the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. It's a medium to full coverage foundation. 42 shades, high pigment, matte finish, buildable, lightweight, and long wear. It's $36, pretty reasonable for a foundation. And I love the packaging, it's very minimalistic and very sleek. Lightweight, medium to full coverage foundation delivers a blurring effect which reduces the appearance of fine lines and skin imperfections. How to use, apply the foundation using our Seamless Beauty Sponge. Fingertips or preferred applicator to achieve desired level of coverage by building it up. Let's do some swatches. 128 is um, medium tan, and it says it's a peach undertone. And we got 128, 129, 130, that's 130, and that's dark. I would not consider that dark. So then we've got 131, that's 131. 132, this one is 133. Oh no, this doesn't look like 133. I know pictures online don't really like correlate, but this is why like it's so hard to match yourself online because the pictures online, it looks like this online, but this is what it looks like in real life. They run, a, I would say slightly lighter than they look online, on the photos online. It's 134, we're still in the dark category. It looks closer to the model than it does the bottle. But even with the model, it still looks a little bit lighter than the model's face. So that's 134, and that is 135. This girl is stunning. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. One medium tan shade and the rest of them are dark. This one's a medium tan shade. That's 136. And then we've got 137. That's 138. Oh man, I've used a shade like 139 before. This one kind of reminds me of the NYX. Um, total control drop foundation shade and then 140 this one's warm red undertones yeah I was like this one's plain old red undertone 141 that's a golden undertone this is 142 which has neutral undertones okay now I gotta pick a shade out of these now these are gonna match my face like the pure love your selfie because the pure love your selfie is just like like that. That's what. That's what. That's my almost perfect match to my face. So I gotta find something that's gonna be a match to my chest. Also, if you guys are looking for a drugstore equivalent of the Pure Love Your Selfie L'Oreal C12. Let me see if I can get some. Ah, pretty good match as well to my face. So that's a drugstore equivalent to the Pure Love Your Selfie, except it has a little bit more of that um, neutral undertone. We gotta find a match that's gonna balance me out or even me out to my chest. Normally I would go with the red. I might have to mix. I might, I wanna go with this shade right here because I feel like this one just might be too red. There's also this one, which actually, ooh. Okay, I think we might go with 142. 142 and 140, maybe I could mix those two together. I'm using the Kiehl's Youth Dose Eye Treatment and this just helps with that like reflection on my under eye dip right here. Let's go in with some Farsali liquid glass. That's this one right here. This is the Skin Tune Blur from Farsali as well. All right, skin is looking good. So we've got the sponge. This is what the sponge looks like, dry. So this is what it looks like wet. Did expand, $15 for the sponge. Not bad, depending on its performance, we'll see. I think my Sephora sponge I buy for like 
$12. But then again, e.l.f. just came out with this other sponge and it's pretty well. I think it's $5. Okay, so we've got $142 and $140. I'm gonna use these two shades right here. This one is really red. I got that almost looks like a red pigment. But I'm gonna use these two together. So two pumps of 142 and one pump of 140. Looks like that's the vibe. The sponge is pretty dense on the bottom, but it is giving you a nice seamless blend. I mean, it's doing what it says it's gonna do. This is what happens when you've been finessing foundations for years. You can just tell what's not gonna work and figure out what your mix is, like, instantly. Coverage is not bad. The finish is not bad either. I've got to blend down to my neck because the top part of my neck is kind of closer to the skin tone on my face than the bottom part of my neck is closer to the skin tone on my chest. It, it's just, it's a, mm, it's a balancing act. It really is. I'm glad I didn't go in with only that red foundation. It's already like looking a little bit more red than I would like. Imagine if I went in only with the red, only with 140. And that would not be cute. I'm going to go see The Lion King today. I need to look cute for Beyonce, okay? It feels pretty lightweight. That's like one layer. I don't think I need to go in with another layer. I'll probably just do a little bit of color correcting around my eye socket areas and then around my lip. I don't think I'm gonna go in with the rest of this. But that was three pumps of foundation. One pump of 140 and two pumps of 142. I'm gonna conceal around my eye sockets with this Fenty Beauty 495 concealer. And then I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer to brighten, because this one has more of that neutralish undertone that I'm gonna need to just balance out because my face is a little bit more redder today because of the foundation. So that's what the foundation looks like. Let's brighten with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Dark Coffee. I don't take my concealer too far out. I just keep it right there because I don't want my face to look any whiter than it already looks. We're just going a tad bit brighter today. Just see what that looks like. So the sponge is not bad. I definitely think it does a pretty good job of blending. The tip is pretty stiff, so you can get really, really up in there. I don't think it's bad. I like the flat bottom. I have noticed that some foundations gather funny around my nose area. It's not doing too bad, but I go like this, and I know it looks crazy right now, but I just, it looks better that way. And then I just go in and blend it. Cause that gathering situation is not cute and it's really what exposes the fact that you have foundation on. That is what that looks like. I'm not mad at it. It looks pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna set my face with the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. Or set my under eyes, actually, not my face. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Dior Forever and Ever Shine Control Powder. I know this powder looks crazy, but it really isn't, and it's a beautiful finish. So nice and smooth, and it doesn't alter my foundation. Don't sleep on the Dior Forever and Ever Shine Control. I feel like this sponge is applying my powder so much better than the Beauty Blender. I do powder my neck, because I put foundation there, might as well. A little bit of this black opal, this shade right here, and I'm gonna use that to kind of contour-ish. And I'm gonna use the Prime Beauty Bronzer to bronze. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and my eyes off camera and then wrap up this video. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished face. I think it looks really good. Um, the foundation looks really good with everything that I've applied on it. All I did was do my eyebrows, obviously, and my eyes off camera. I used the Soft Glam Palette from ABH on my eyes. Um, this shimmer shade right here called Sultry is what I have on the center, on my lid. And then I have just these two shades right here, like this brown shade and this red shade. Then I put this little liquid eyeshadow from CoverGirl just on the center, just for a little bit of extra shimmer. For the lips, I use this lipstick here from Pat McGrath in the shade, it's this pink lipstick, in the shade Extravaganza. I put some of this YSL on top of it just to mute it out so it's not too pinky. And this is called 23. And then I sprayed my face down with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I'm about to go change. We're gonna go see Lion King. So yeah, what do you guys think? You guys like it? I really like it. I really like the way that it looks. It doesn't look overly matte. I do feel I am a lot matter than I'm used to, but it doesn't look overly matte. So I kind of like it. She's a vibe. Bye guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, so it is 1.15 in the morning. Couldn't find my phone, but here it is, 1.15. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> it looks like it held up pretty nicely. I did put a good amount of powder on, but like as far as it being like more of that matte finish, 
It's not a terribly like uncomfortable matte finish. I like it. I definitely would wear the foundation again. I love the finish. I do wish that it was just a little bit deeper. The shade did not oxidize whatsoever. It stayed pretty true to color, which is good. I feel like it wore really, really well. And I feel like if I, this could definitely be like a summer foundation as far as like it staying matte, but not making my skin look dry. I still feel like I'm getting a good amount of glow to my skin. Creasing wise, I honestly think that's the best my laugh lines have looked in a very long time. On a foundation, it definitely could have been so much worse. I always get creasing regardless. Overall, I think it wore pretty well. We just finished The Lion King. It was a great movie. I, I made me remember how much I love The Lion King. I grew up watching The Lion King and it was just like very like, it gave me feels because I love The Lion King. And um, I think they did a pretty good job. It was live action, so you can't really, like people were trying to hate on the fact that it was very like, the, the lion's expressions were very like, subdued. I actually really enjoyed it. So I think that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you turn on your notifications, give this video a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe and join the family. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love, and I will see you guys next time. This is what happens when it's 1 a.m. and you're tired after two glasses of champagne. Mm -hmm. This is me. That's boy boy. Oh, no, no, no kiss. No kisses. I don't want kisses. I don't want kisses, please. This is Zoe. She's the one that's always barking in my videos. She wants to eat my cookies.